Thank you, Christine, and good afternoon, everybody. Now, all of us have cell phones. In fact, some of you are actually on your cell phones right now while I'm trying to give this presentation. But that's OK. And if you think about everything we do on those cell phones, we, we really depend on those to run our, our business life as well as our, our personal lives. And the reality of it is, these cell phones are highly complex devices. They have hundreds of components, thousands of transistors. But when you think about it, we don't care about that. In fact, all of us, all we care about is does that smartphone work when I want to get my email, when I want to do social networking, or even when I want to make a phone call. And the reality of it is, because the smartphone manufacturers have done such a good job of making that experience simple for us, our smartphones have become an extension of our lives. And we would panic, or we do panic, when we lose those smartphones. Now, that experience that we all have with that smartphone is something that's referred to as ubiquitous computing. And this was a term that a scientist back in Xerox in the 80s came up with. And Mark Weiser came up with that term because he realized all the way back in the 80s that the most transformational technologies basically disappear. They become a natural part of, of our activity, and because of that, they help transform our lives or transform our businesses. Now, I share that with you because at Siemens, our strategy is what we call ubiquitous innovation. And what we mean by that is we believe that our, our drive or our objective is to remove the complexity from the innovation process for you, our customers. And two simple examples. Firstly, we need to remove the complexity of innovating products across the mechanical, the electrical, and the software domain. But we also need to make it easier to drive that innovation process across the entire life cycle. We call that ubiquitous innovation to drive this boundaryless experience. So what do I mean by that? Well, firstly, it means that we no longer talk about the traditional domains of CAD or EDA or PDM, because if you talk in those domains, that's really not a boundaryless discussion. Rather, we want to engage and we make our investment strategies based on solutions that cut across the innovation process, such as additive manufacturing, but also solutions that cut across the multi-domains of mechanical, electrical, and software. Now, when I talk about removing complexity or making this boundaryless experience, it's not just about the user experience. It's also important that we remove all the complexity from what it takes for our customers to very easily and rapidly adopt our technology to improve their innovation process. And that is why we partnered with AWS. Because we knew with AWS that we could really provide our customers that boundaryless experience to adopt our technology and specifically give them a very agile, a very safe, and a very secure way to implement our technology across their innovation process. Now, I just want to give you two examples of customers that are working with Siemens and AWS to do just that. The first one is Edwards Life Sciences. Now, Edwards is a medical device producer, and they have a lot of the same business challenges that most manufacturers would have. So one specific one is they have multiple design programs going on on a global basis across their organization. And as you all understand, these programs are running asynchronously. So for Edwards, they need to be able to very quickly and easily ramp up one program, maybe ramp down a pro another program to support where their business is moving. And clearly, they're always being challenged to remove IT costs and all the associated complexity with IT. So Edwards has partnered with Siemens and with AWS to deploy our team center not just across their product development environment, but also across their manufacturing environment. So they've implemented Team Center as well as our MES tool, Somatic, to support their entire innovation process on top of AWS Cloud. The second example is Volkswagen. Now, we're very excited about this announcement, which hopefully many of you have already heard earlier today or yesterday at this conference. But just last week, AWS announced a, a partnership with, with Volkswagen. And on Friday, Siemens, we announced the same partnership with Volkswagen. 
And what's really powerful about this is it is a partnership. Volkswagen is partnering with both Siemens and AWS to build their industrial cloud. And that industrial cloud is, is designed to support 122 manufacturing facilities across the globe. And when I say they've partnered with us, part of this strategy is they want to work together, VW, AWS, and Siemens, to develop new technologies and new solutions that Volkswagen can leverage, that their supply chain can leverage, but also that we can leverage with other discrete manufacturers on a global basis. So two excellent examples. Now I said earlier that we partnered with AWS to provide this boundaryless experience to remove that complexity. I want to share with you a couple reasons why we partnered with AWS. The first one is simply AWS is the leader in this space. And what that really means for us is that they have the broadest set of capabilities or technologies that we can leverage to develop our technology and help our customers deploy our technology. Along with that comes a large ecosystem. That's an ecosystem of technology partners that work with AWS that we can also leverage to, again, help develop our technology. And also, AWS is, is proved to be a very agile partner of ours. What do I mean by that? We trust AWS to work with us, and when we identify new needs or new solutions from them to help us with our technology, they're very agile and willing to pivot their, their investments to help us out. And the most obvious one is reliability. The distributed data centers that AWS provides gives us a higher confidence that our customers will never be shut down because of an in infrastructure challenge. I'm also very proud to, to, to discuss again that we, our technology team center and MindSphere have been selected as the in, part of the industrial competency center of AWS. Now with that, I want to turn it over to Carla for a moment. Carla? Thanks, Bob. You know, it's great to hear about groundbreaking technology and all of us have been part of using new technology for years, but what we have found happens with a lot of our customers is that it's easy to get money for a pilot to show a proof of concept, but when we really think about rolling those proofs of concepts or production systems out at scale, it's pretty difficult to do for our customers. And you heard Bob talk about the kinds of things that we've been doing together for the last five years. What we haven't done a great job of is showing you how to do that yourselves. So if you think about what it takes to roll out mission critical systems that look at heterogeneous data in an end to end way and really solve business problems at scale, it takes a tremendous amount of subject matter expertise and domain expertise to do that. That's what we get in our relationship with Siemens. It also takes a pretty vast ability to support globally, and you talked about the data centers at scale, the mass with reliability, scalability, in order to make these systems productive. So we thought that there was a way to bring our two organizations together locally in a showcase. And you've seen us do work together with Team Center. Bob talked about it at Edwards. Um, we've also done work with MindSphere for years. Now what we're going to do is help you and your customers come work with us on site, and I'll, do the, I'll let you do the great reveal, Bob, of how we can bring these types of prototyping capabilities to you and your customers. Thank you, Carla. So as Carla just said, our goal is we want to be able to create a very tangible experience for our joint customers to really understand how they can leverage our technology across the innovation process on top of AWS Cloud Platform. And again, the goal there is so that we can provide you this experience to have a boundaryless tool chain across the innovation process. So we're very excited to announce that we're opening what we're calling a digital builder's facility. And we're opening that facility right in the city center of Munich later, later this year. And to give you an example of what that will look like, our goal here is to provide through 10 different stations that experience of how you can work through this tool chain from product design, from manufacturing engineering, the actual manufacturing, as well as the product performance and walk through those to experience that tool chain, that boundaryless experience across that overall tool chain. And to zoom in and give you just a quick example of what that might look like, 
one station around this concept of digital twin. Now everybody understands that within Siemens we have the most robust digital twin, the most complete and the most accurate digital twin. But a big challenge for our customers in, in producing that is the compute horsepower required. And this can illustrate that how leveraging our technology on the AWS cloud really allows our customers, again, that agile ability to rapidly ramp up or ramp down that compute power whenever and wherever they need it. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Carla. Thanks, Bob. So we're really excited to introduce to you the opportunity for half-day and full-day workshops. At this facility, you'll be able to do those workshops, and with you will be AWS employees and Siemens employees, and as well, we'll be hosting academic uh, events to allow us to see what's coming down the pike for the future. Please register at industrialshowcase.splashthat.com. Thank you. Siemens, ingenuity for life.